Like I always say guys, there are so many smart and educated South Africans. You understand? Who will always come out to defend Nigeria? Who will always come out to defend immigrants? Who will always come out and tell South Africans the truth that many South Africans don't want to know? And I'm happy that the elderly ones in South Africa are still doing so. Coming out to remind the younger generation of South Africans that guys, come down. We know you have problems, but relax. The immigrants are not your problem. The Nigerians are not your problem. So your way of going at it, the way you guys are moving, the way you guys are moving, it's not going to help you. You are rather going to bring more problems to South Africa than fix the already existing problems. You understand? So many South Africans will be like, we are not xenophobic. We don't have xenophobia in South Africa. We are not xenophobic. We don't, we don't have problem, you know. But when you say you don't have xenophobia and your leaders, I mean, at least if it was political leaders now, we would be saying this is politics. But this man is not a politician. We are talking of the Zulu king, a Zulu king in South Africa. Guys, you know, for me as an African, eh, for, for those of you who don't know, maybe the Gen Z's, you understand? The young people who don't know. Me as an African. The Zulu king in South Africa is more important than the governor of South Africa. For me, it's more important than the Senate. It's more important to me than the member of a parliament because he is a royal leader. He is a real leader representing his people. He is an ancestral leader. He's an ordained leader by the gods, by the ancestors of South Africa to represent his kingdom of South Africa, the Zulu kingdom. So, I think that what this man is saying, the Zulu king of South Africa, what he is saying should be held with a lot of respect, should be regarded with a lot of respect. The man, eh, the Zulu king just made me have so much more love, much more respect to see South Africa as a country that has people of integrity, have people that love humanity. That's what the Zulu king is giving. No doubt he's a king. No doubt, because the man is a man of wisdom. Even when you read, the, he's speaking in Zulu language. So, most of it, I couldn't get it. But you can see from the pictures, the translation, they're writing it in English. He's trying to speak wisdom. I mean, when you see the way the man speaks Zulu to his people, and what he's telling South Africans, ah, then you understand why he's king. Then you will know that he's, he's worthy of being a Zulu king. The man is a, is a wise king. He's like King Solomon. He's a great man. South Africans, you have this kind of people in your country, and yet some of you behave like the way you do. You have a, a, a man full of wisdom. I mean, and yet you people want to drag South Africa's name down with this kind of men in your country. No, South Africans, you better listen to your Zulu king. You better listen to your man. You better listen to your Igwe. Listen to your Igwe, Zewane. Listen to your number one, because he is better than the government. He is a true hero of South African people. He knows what is good for his village, for his kingdom, more than what the politicians want. Your South African politicians and the white people, they are inciting the division between South Africans and Nigerians. They are the ones creating the xenophobia. Your political leaders, your government, your white leaders, because they know what they benefit from that. But what is your Zulu king benefiting from xenophobia? He doesn't have any benefit. He's a good man. He's a man of love. He's a man of integrity. And he's a man of the people. A man of the people understands the needs of the people. Politicians don't. Politics is a game of always putting the masses down so that the few at the top can continue to enjoy and continue to chop money. But South Africans, you people don't seem to understand. Instead of listening to your Zulu king, who is advising you people to stay off Stay away from xenophobic activities. Leave Nigerians alone. Leave the immigrants alone. You are listening to your white politicians. You are listening to your government. Who is taking all your money? Who is making sure that unemployment is, is on a high rate in South Africa? Who is, who is coming on TV to defend the fact that they have to bring uh, special skilled workers from abroad? They have to bring immigrants outside to come and work in South Africa, do special jobs. When you South Africans are jobless, those are the people you choose to listen to. And then they tell you immigrants are the problem. And then you start being xenophobic towards Nigerians, xenophobic towards Zimbabweans, xenophobic towards your fellow black people who are the only people that understand you, the only people that can help you, the only people that can identify themselves with you. You understand? 
So this man, eh, the Zulu king, make me understand something very important. That there are so many good South Africans. So many good South Africans out there. Come on, man. I talk to some of them as well, and they talk to me at gym. You see, I don't have a problem with Nigerians. Some South Africans tell me that clean and clear. They come to my inbox and feel free as a South African. Talk to me, my guys. Talk to me. We're friends. I don't have a problem with South Africa. It's just that act. Let us leave that division aside. Let us keep xenophobia aside. Let us keep chasing away other blacks aside. There are immigrants in Nigeria. The day I hear that Nigerians are chasing away Cameroonians in Nigeria. The day I hear Nigerians are chasing away South Africans in Nigeria. The way I hear Nigerians are xenophobic towards other Africans, chasing away Ghanaians and Africans in Nigeria. Ah, come on. You think I will say, oh, Nigeria, you are doing well. No. I will criticize our tenant Nigeria. Nigeria, you cannot do this to your fellow African brothers. You cannot do this to your people. That's what I will be telling Nigerians. The same thing I'm telling South Africans right now. So if you're in South Africa, you think that I have a problem with your country. No, guys, calm down. You see, when a South African does something that is good, I come and I talk about it. I come and I say, wow, this South African is intelligent. This South African should be listened to. He's amazing. I come and I celebrate. That's to tell you that. All I'm interested in is to see Africans moving forward, is to see Africans united. I don't believe in African unity in the sense that we are going to have one African country, one African currency, one African president. No, I'm not delusional. That will never happen. If you think that can ever, forget it. The only African unity we can have is the way European unity is. An Africa where a Nigerian is welcomed in South Africa. An Africa where any African is welcomed anywhere in Africa. Where any African will feel comfortable anywhere in Africa. Travel freely. We don't need visa. We don't need passport. We not be restricted. We not face challenges because they are not from there. That's the Africa we are looking for. And that is what the Zulu King is telling South Africans. Nigerians are not your problem. Immigrants are not your problem. Leave them. Let them live their lives. You will see that they are not the problem in this country. The Zulu King is a smart king. Oh, I can sing songs for the Zulu King. Because he is a great man. You understand? South Africans, you better listen to your Zulu King. And let us all stop xenophobia in South Africa. It is what it is. Your boy Ajay Max on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free, guys. God bless you all. Cheese.